of all trade shows underway in Las Vegas. Tens of thousands of people are there hoping to get their hands on the hottest new gadgets making their debut. Liz Clayman, right in the thick of it, and joins us now with a couple of special guests. Liz. Brian, every gadget needs a charger, right? I mean, at my own packing, I packed three different chargers for three different things. Forget that. Let's just look at our crew, how many chargers and wires we have on our floor here. Pete's looking all over the place. I mean, everybody's got a charger sticking through every single outlet. We want a wireless charging world. We want to lose the cords. Can we do it? Well, I am joined now by two gentlemen who are at the forefront of wireless charging. I'd like to introduce you to Ron Polyakine of PowerMat and David Barman of Fulton Innovation. Great to have you both. Good morning. Good morning. Dave, you've brought some gadgets as well that are wireless charged. Explain truly what that means. So what we're doing here is we have a means to be able to power these devices just by setting them down on a surface or in some cases just hanging them in a place and being able to power them and charge them. Uh, with no cords or cables in a universal fashion. How does that work then? So what we've done is we've worked with the Wireless Power Consortium to set a standard that allows the devices to talk and tell exactly what they need and the device requests that power and then it gives it exactly what it needs with no connections. Talk about some of the products that you have here that are wirelessly charged. So we have an energizer flashlight, we have a casemate hug which is an iPhone cover, we have a Bosch power tool that you can set right on your tool chest and charge it with a battery or with the whole tool, um, and a Dell laptop that's completely ultra wideband uh, so your monitor for, your, for your, your TV or your hotel or whatever and the power can all be completely wireless, but no cords. doesn't the wireless charger have to be charged itself? If you take a look at our booth, you'll actually see that we have coffee shops set up, we have, uh, we're working with uh, Delta Airlines and BE Aerospace, you'll see airplane tray tables, you'll see coffee tables, you'll see automotive situations, hotels with JW Marriott. Uh, we have a complete infrastructure set up. Ron Polyakine has come up with something called the power mat, which is right here. And what you do is you simply, and maybe my mic can get close enough here, you just put your iPhone on it. You can put anything else that you want. It kind of rolls out. It's like a mat. It can be longer than this. We saw one that had about six things. But uh, tell us about specifically this product. Okay, great. So basically, what we've decided to do is taking to market a product that will help people to charge their devices and lose the cords. That was about two months ago. We came up with a very, very good technology to do that. But more importantly, we went to consumers and asked them, how do you want to, to lose the cords? And the answer is very simple. We want something very, very simple that will help upgrading your phones to wireless charger. And we started this two months ago, and to date, we sold 750,000 units in the marketplace, which is pretty amazing and pretty much telling us we're in the right direction. But does this have to be plugged in somewhere? Correct. So this is a, this is a, the, the typical, this is a typical business uh, uh, solution for business person. Yeah. What you do, you buy this for $99, you charge it overnight, right. and then when you go on the road, let's say to Vegas, you have a full three days of wireless charging which is pretty amazing. So it needs to be charged, but then for three days, you're totally wireless, truly wireless. How much does that cost? $99 or $3. $99. And looking at the future of this, because as we advance more, what do you think is, is the pusher here? Is it the fact, the driver, that people are wanting to not have 50 different cords stuck in outlets, sapping all that energy? Is this a good green play as well? It can be a green play. What we're actually doing here is we're turning the devices off when the device is removed. So we can actually turn the power off at the outlet. So it can sense when the device is put in place. Right now you're leaving cords and cables plugged in. So it can be a green play. Um, it can, if it's built into an infrastructure, it can have more intelligence built into it. So, and then with a wireless power standard attached to it, basically you can have universal power to where you get rid of the cords. Do you foresee an era, Ron, where it'll all be in the sky like Wi-Fi and you'll be able to grab the charge from the atmosphere. Now, I think uh, realistically what we see is that in the next five years when you come to a hotel, Starbucks, any uh, office, you don't care about the chargers. Just come in, you have a table or a mat, you just simply place your device in the chargers. That's what's really... Uh, How that's long is the charge on that? So I think in terms of power mat, uh, the charge will charge as quick or faster than any uh, uh, cord. And how about that flashlight, Dave? It's comparable to whatever it would be charged if you were to plug it in. The battery and the charging cycle is exactly the same. Well, 
we want to lose the wires, I think, definitely. And, and I just noticed it, at JFK when we came in, there was a really big picture of a model who had wires wrapped around her head. And that's an advertisement for your company, PowerMat. You guys are getting critical mass pretty quickly. That's correct. I think what we're trying to do is listening to our consumers and come with more and more innovation that will make your life easier and make it easy to upgrade your life to wireless charging. Ron Polakine, Dave Barman, so nice to see you. Thank you very much for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Thank you very and, much. And, and that, that, I think, is exactly where we're moving, Brian, is to get rid of all of those cords that are sticking in every outlet in your house. Yeah. That, and a fire hazard, too, is a buddy of mine, unfortunately, found out with his